dude. So Man, Jake and Loke and Paul are two of the most famous and polarizing brothers on Earth. But there's never exactly been that traditional brotherly love there between them. It sounds like there's an overwhelming sense that either actually wants to see the other succeed. And I would argue that they look at each other much more as competition than they do as brothers. From making diss songs to stealing girlfriends bro, uh, to competing for online that. fame and completely throwing era, each other bro. under the bus several times. It's definitely been a turbulent ride for these guys relationship to say the least. Hell, when you feel on top of the world and you've just won your match, and your brother is lurking around in the background like this, all because he was salty that he couldn't promote his own product at your event, that's never a good thing. Now, I've always felt that Logan was much more self-involved than Jake, and I could definitely see him backstabbing someone else to make himself look good in the process at any point, just like he did with his longtime friend George. Like, to me, the only thing Logan is really loyal to is furthering his career, building his net worth, and making himself look as best as he can in the eyes of the public. And recently, Logan had some words about Jake's next fight during a podcast with Jake's biggest enemy, KSI, that only confirms he is not supportive of his own flesh and blood. Now in this- Bro. Fallon. And Fallon used to be- Crazy Logan and Jake Paul support. Like, when I, like, before Glaze became popular, I promise you, Fallon was the dictionary definition of Glaze. You said anything with the name, one of them two in it, especially Jake Paul, GG's. You're never gonna hear the end of it, bro. If you say anything bad about it, never gonna hear the end of it. He just didn't stop. I don't know how he, I don't know what I don't know what made him like them so much. He just he's just weird. This first clip, Logan and KSI were given their initial reaction to the announcement of this Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson fight. And this is where they not only trash Jake for fighting Mike Tyson, but Logan also claims that he was offered this fight before Jake, and it's like, oh yeah, I turned that thing down. For both Mike and Jake, the bag. Like at what at what point you can't I don't know if you can say no. I said no to fighting Mike Tyson. I'd say no. I was I was offered it. And you got I, you offered. Yeah, I was offered it. I'm calling big time cap on that. Like everyone already saw how his fight with Floyd Mayweather went. It was just beyond boring. It seemed like at one point he actually accidentally knocked Logan out and had to hold up his body. Yeah. It was just like a. It was just like a, oh, this could be a real fight because I I've, I've been asked before. I'm sure you have too. Do you think you could beat Mike Tyson? And my answer was and will be yes. Well, yeah, I just think, what, I just think now? Yes, I just think he's too old, bro. That's oh, crazy. Oh, God, he's got got it. Is, he'd be great hey, for a round. And it's just hilarious to me that Logan really thinks that he could beat Mike Tyson when he couldn't even finish off Dylan Dennis. I mean, the guy was standing there in the corner, straight up letting Logan unleash on his face. Pause. And Logan could What's still not get the knockout. I mean, it was ridiculous. Bro. Like, I don't know if he was scared of the counter punch or what, but the only thing that Dylan was countering with that day was his pelvis and his crotch. As a matter of fact, at one point, I think he even offered to suck him off during the event. Now, it just so happened that after this clip came out and went viral, Jake was sitting down on Aiden Ross's stream and he could immediately reply. And here's where he essentially calls Logan a big fat liar, a big fat cloud chaser. Uh, Logan said he was offered to fight Mike Tyson and he declined. Yeah, which is which is also not true. Oh, so Logan was not offered to fight Mike Tyson? No. Oh. Because we're the ones that brought the deal to Mike Tyson. Gotcha. So I don't know why he would say that. Like, me and most valuable promotions and my partner, Nikisa, struck a deal with Netflix and then went to other fighters to try to get them involved. And it started with, like, Tommy Fury. And then we went to Mike Tyson. And after, like, months of talking got him to be down to fight. And so he's essentially saying that Logan could not have been offered this opportunity because it wasn't Mike shopping the fight around. Jake's the one that had to approach Mike for months and months and months pestering him because it's not like Mike is the one who's out here looking for a fight. But if he is going to be offered one and he thinks he could put on an entertaining match and obviously make a quick buck while he does so, I mean, why not? Wait, what's so, the fight Mike happened Tyson on was Netflix? Offering people deals, so I don't know oh, what tough. he's talking about. So, wait, why, so why did Logan say that then? Do you think it's just because, like you said, he's around KSI? Or do you think he's... I don't know. I really don't know.
And you see, that's the difference between Jake and Logan. Like, obviously, Jake could have just said, well, he said it because he's a big fat liar, that he only lives to appease people on the internet in his audience and try and make himself look as cool as possible. He could have said, well, because Logan's ego is out of control. But he doesn't take that moment to diss his own brother like Logan definitely would. And look, guys, I'm not saying that the people being critical of Jake Paul's next opponent being so old are wrong. I'm just saying when it comes to your brother or to me really anyone in your family, at least from a public perspective, the very least you could do is always support their endeavors. And here they continue mm -hmm. to make fun of the fight. I mean, bro, when you're laying on the deathbed, to be able, yeah, to, say, sure, to, be sure. able to say, yo, I went <laughs> yeah, yeah. toe to toe with Mike Tyson, yeah. bro. Like, there's not many people that can say that. So As long as you go toe to toe, dude to a wheelchair, whatever. If they got a wheel mic in, bro, I'm just saying, it's still, it's just dope. So I, I, I like it. And my question to you, well, I mean, Jeff, what's, what's next though? No, my question. Well, who's he gonna fight next? Someone older. Someone older. Yeah, someone older. Yeah, someone older. 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 Nah, that was a little bit disrespectful right there. But I get the point he's trying to make. Like here, I actually have no problems with the comments from KSI. Him and Jake obviously have their own problems. And if he wants to this talk, this whole to thing is cringy to me, bro. Game, whatever. But something just rubs me the wrong way about Logan being like, "Oh, you know, I was all for that fight, had to turn it down, so they just gave it to the little brother." Like, even if that was true, only an absolute egomaniac who is scared that his brother is starting to overshadow him would make it a point to make that type of comment. And here Jake continues to respond to the comment, and I do think that in this clip he sheds light on who his brother kind of actually is. My brother and I's relationship sometimes has to be like aired out, but it seems as if the court of public opinion is the only thing that like steers him in the right direction. So he's essentially saying that all Loken cares about is his reputation and how people from the outside looking in perceive him. We were the ones that brought the Netflix deal to Tyson. So Tyson was never in the market offering people the fights for anyone to turn down. So yes, it is weird to go online and lie. I am always having to defend myself and be undermined and be like, like little broad. And then I have to just not allow it to happen why is someone my own brother trying to make me look like the second option for tyson Ooh. like oh yeah i turned down that de no you didn't that's a complete lie like bro, and why are you fabricating lies it's the big brother syndrome i mean yeah to me jake has his faults but i just think logan's the type of guy that cares about nobody but himself i'm gonna fight mike tyson on that wow. yeah. <laughs> He's secretly in the back of his so head just fake, mad as fuck. Well. <laughs> oh my god! No oh, way! Man. You said yourself you've never won a fight, and you're going to beat Mike Tyson, maybe the biggest knockout artist of our era. Yeah! <laughs> Even he doesn't believe that he could have done it, and that was back in 2021. Either way, Mike's ready for the fight. Sign the contract, big boy. Come on, sign the contract. He's appeared in some new training footage, and the man's looking pretty good. Oh my God, Mike Tyson's still tough. It's day one. The fun he still look crazy. Day two, we're getting ready for you. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck no, man. As much as I wish that these were going to be real fights, bro, it's not, bro. Jake Paul is most likely going to be the winner. Because it's not a real fight. Bro, Mike, because the way Mike Tyson moving, Mike Tyson, does, I don't, I haven't seen Jake Paul stuff, but the way Mike Tyson moving, like Mike, you like, it really looked like Mike Tyson going, would destroy Jake, would he not? But I don't know, Mike Tyson looking, he's still moving in this. Oh, I like that emote, man, I like that emote. I like those, I like those. Two, three, four, four, five, 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 five. Hey, 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 oh my god, yeah. <laughs> oh man, that trainer's going through hell back there, man. I mean, I just hope that Mike has the stamina. I mean, obviously, I'm going for him. I want to see the knockout as Jake's going to the ground. I want to see him saying, subscribe to that bitch. And people are already predicting that this is how the match is going to go. Iron Mike 
Tyson has graced the octagon. Tyson is ready to fight. <laughs> Yo, if it was for real, that's what would happen, bro. I mean, that would be pretty awesome. But I want to know what you guys think about all of this down below. What do you Dude, think about Mason these two brothers? Punches, as always, bro. I do want to thank you guys for watching Mason. today's video. Oh Drop a like and subscribing. But as y'all know, it's been your boy, Tan Superman. And some other feuds out here need to be covered. So I'm out. Peace. Jeez. That's the first time I actually watched the video in his action channel. I didn't know his action name, Jamari. No. Yeah, I always watch it through Asian. See that again?